What is up? This year, LA in a minute, and Los Angeles has always been a city of the future, often at the expense of its past. And I'm here in Pasadena, where an integral part of its rich history has been mostly forgotten. I'm talking about the long gone Latino neighborhoods of Chihuahuita, Sonora Town, and Winona. I want to thank Westcom Credit Union for helping shine a light on this story as it's part of their Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. This is the story of Pasadena's lost Latino neighborhoods. Let's get into it. Pasadena's first lost Latino neighborhood was right here along the railroad tracks between Del Mar Boulevard and Glenarm. It was called Sonora Town, named so because the wave of migrants from the Mexican province of Sonora either settled here or stopped here on their way to mining jobs up in Northern California. There were other Sonora towns, but this was Pasadena's, and it was a strong base of population. 984 Latino residents, 57% of all the Latinos in Pasadena at the time. Many of the Latino men were employed as day laborers, street workers, or railroad company workers. And Mexican women did seasonal work in fruit packing plants along the railroad tracks. They earned $1.25 daily and paid $11 monthly rent for a place that you, quote, might be able to keep chickens in if they weren't very fancy chickens, according to a newspaper article. Hmm. The second of Pasadena's lost Latino neighborhoods was Chihuahuita, or Little Chihuahua. It was referred to as Titleyville by the Anglo population, and it was roughly bounded by Avocado Lane in Sierra Madre, Foothill, and Orange Grove. It stood outside Pasadena city limits, near Avocado Groves and Citrus Groves, and it was a marked contrast to Sonora Town, according to a newspaper account in 1911. The residents of Chihuahuita were mostly orchard workers who picked fruit and worked as gardeners, stonemasons, and cement workers. Many owned small houses with little flower gardens, and their children attended the Titleyville School, which was established in 1915. In 1922, this area was home to 350 Latinos, or 20% of the city's Latino population at the time. Though Chihuahuita no longer technically exists, many of the homes are still original, and some have been passed down through those same Latino families to subsequent generations. Now, the third of Pasadena's lost Latino neighborhoods is probably the least known. It was called Winona, named after the avenue where many of the Latinos of the area lived. In 1922, 402 Latinos, or 23% of the Latino population, lived right along this avenue. It was perhaps best known for Andreita Gonzalez, a strong and fiercely independent woman who owned a small grocer and was an early leader in Pasadena's Latino community. Now, the neighborhood disappeared in the 1970s when the northern leg of the Foothill Freeway was built, and so were many memories and much of the history. I want to thank Westcom Credit Union for making this episode possible. It's important for their Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. And it was a really nice experience riding around in Little Blue, this 1934 Ford truck. All right, LA, it's been a minute.